Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Measure for Measure and today we get to hear from the Duke in Act 5, Scene 1, which is the entirety of Act 5. And this is the point in a play where everything has kind of sort of gone crazy. Things are just kind of getting nuts. So yeah, um, Claudio's not dead, but the only people that know that are the Duke and the Provost. Isabel thinks that he's still dead. Isabel has been taken off to, she's been arrested because she accused Angelo, but the Duke, posing as the Duke instead of the friar, has said that she's crazy, so he arrested Isabel. She's gone off, all of this, all of this stuff, um, and at this point in the play, it feels, it sort of feels like everything is about to go wrong. I mean, yesterday we had, um, we had the other friar, Friar Peter, saying that um, if only Friar Lodovic would come back, then things might kind of sort of make sense. Friar Lodovic being the duke, disguised as a friar and that sort of thing, and the Duke was like, all right, well, send that guy off here and I'll go try to do a thing there. He sends the provost off to find Friar Lodovic. He goes off to like do some other stuff, which basically means change costume and that sort of thing and leaves Aeschylus in charge and Aeschylus tries to get from Angelo what happened, but then the Duke comes back in dressed as Friar Lodovic and tries to make sense of some random stuff and he he and Lucio and Aeschylus kind of get into it and they're going back and forth and they're they're sh they're shouting at each other and all kinds of stuff until finally Lucio pulls off the hood of Friar Lodovic and reveals that Friar Lodovic and the Duke are one and the same, at which point, and the Duke, the Duke doesn't even like miss a beat in this whole reveal. He's, he's been playing the whole, like, I'm the friar, I'm the friar. Okay, I'm the Duke again. And he goes off and he's like, I pardon all of these people and you have some stuff that we're, that we're gonna deal with later. And here's an issue and some stuff. And Isabel comes in front of him because apparently she didn't realize that Friar Lodovic was the Duke in disguise. But Isabel comes in front of him and she's like, I'm so sorry, like, please pardon me, please forgive me. Because remember, Isabella is pious and proper. She wants to be a nun. That's what her life is all about. And the fact that she has levied these ac accusations, the fact that she has accused Angelo of doing the things that Angelo actually did, but still, it's kind of a big deal and all that sort of thing. She comes in from the Duke and she's like, I'm so sorry, I didn't, or like, I didn't really mean to do these things. And the Duke says, you are pardoned, Isabel. And now, dear maid, be you as free to us. Your brother's death, I know, sits at your heart. And you may marvel why I obscured myself, laboring to save his life, and would not rather make rash remonstrance of my hidden power than let him be so lost. Your most kind maid. It was the swift celerity of his death, which I did think, with slower foot came on, that brained my purpose. But peace be with him. That life is better life past fearing death than that which lives to fear. Make it your comfort, so happy is your brother. So he's still towing the line that her brother is dead which he's not. Claudio is still alive. They sent a different head to Angelo, that whole thing. And he, he tries to play the like, yes, I was playing you off being in disguise. This whole thing, that's fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to like freak you out on that whole thing, but like, sorry that your brother's dead. But her brother isn't dead. This is the thing. He's still, he's still playing that, even though it's not actually the truth, the reality. So there's these, these layers of reveal that are happening as the play comes towards its end. I, I, I think that we only have about two days left until the play is over. Sorry, three monologues.
three monologues before the play is over. There's three more. There's tomorrow and then two more days until the play is over. But I think I think that it's fascinating that the Duke, at this point, you would think, like, he's done the, this is me, and I'm going to go off stage, and I'm going to change into some other costume. And then he comes back in his alternate persona, but then his alternate persona gets fully revealed on stage like the the hood of the friar is torn off you would think that he would just be like okay here's how all of it went but he's still not letting all of the cards go he still wants Isabella to think that her brother had to die in all of this sort of thing so I don't know what do you think about that why do you think why do you think that he would want to keep playing this your brother is dead angle for so long because it's a thing that he's doing anyway we'll find out more about that and him and where this play is going to end up because we're in act five so like stuff has to resolve somewhere some point soon anyway we'll see where it goes tomorrow i'll see you then